Now we're getting ready for harvest, mowing driveways. We probably go get the combines from the shop probably right after Labor Day. We'll start getting stuff ready. Got Kobe and the skid loader mowing. I am the trucker guy today. Transportation director, I guess. I'm just gonna give you an update on the, uh, we had a windstorm probably about two to three weeks before it tasseled. This corn right here was completely flat. Flat on the ground. But as you can see it stood up, got pollinated, got some good ears on it. But man, she's gooseneck. Get down here where you can see it. She's gooseneck pretty good. But it did make an ear. Amazing plant. Wonder how long it will stand though. It'll stand for harvest. Not really seeing anything for diseases too bad. We put uh, Mervis Nevo on it. It's actually looking pretty good. Well, there's a little bit of. Looks like the start of tar spot right there, maybe. I don't know. Should be late enough in the season though. Pretty good ear for uh, being flat on the ground. Better than nothing. I don't know why it's got these little dark spots on it. A little bit of tip back. But when we first looked at it I thought we'd get nothing off of it. It was like I said this corn was completely flat from the wind. About four or five foot tall corn laying flat on the ground. More mowing action. Just got this mower, it works pretty good. A little hard to get the hang of it though, I wish there was wheels on the front of it. But works pretty good, if you hit anything it just stalls it out, so that's good. This is the beans, had fairly good weed control, two shots of Liberty with dual on first one, but the beans got so tall and then we had that wind go through, you can see it's, they're laid over, I measured some beans at just over 50 inches tall. These were planted on strips, I mean they look, they look good. But we're, uh, these were sprayed twice with Liberty, once with Dual with the Liberty. And then we sprayed Varaphids, put fungicide on with the uh, insecticide. There's a little bit of sudden death showing up. And about a week later we had uh, aphids coming back again, so I don't know if they're getting resistant to uh, Bifen is what I used. But uh, we come back with a second shot with a helicopter because I couldn't drive through them. They were all tangled up, so. But you can tell they're uh, laid over. Hope they uh, stand up a little bit before harvest time. And I wish somebody would come up with a true definition of uh, what beans will yield. Hard to tell. get out in there pretty good pods but we were so dry you can tell we got twos 
two in a pod down below and then when we got the rain back to the threes every once in a while a four so that's where we're setting with the beans these are a 1.6 maturity I've noticed a couple of these out in the field I would love to know what number this is because it's just covered in pods just one standing up way above the rest must be a later bean still trying to put on pods up top and that's the latest on the beans well, welcome back to the channel we're gonna get it up and running again hopefully I can get next spring on video I didn't do any videoing this spring we'll get that on uh, next time around but here's an update on the beans these are a 1 6 that I got on the video earlier you can see how they're laid over pretty bad they're looking good they're turning but uh, we're gonna get the keep the videos coming now. Hopefully, do one a week. Uh, tomorrow I got Kelvin coming to help a couple days to get things ready. So we uh, get some videos of that. We got the combines home from uh, Alden the other day, so now we can work on the heads. But yeah, here comes fall. It's amazing how fast time flies. Be really interesting to see what these beans are going to yield though. Hard to tell. They can look good and not yield a worth of nothing or they can be short and yield a lot. So The thing with the corn it's going to be that uh, how much uh, green snap we had. We've been seeing anywhere from 6 to 40 percent. So that's going to hurt. Here's that plant again that was taller than everything else. Made those pods up on top there. So stay tuned, more to come.